All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the uh, another video. And uh, this is going to be the uh, Mystery Tackle Box Bass Elite Box Slam for the month of October. So we're going to try and complete this thing. Um, sometimes during the fall fishing, it can be it can be uh, really, really tough, you know, with that transition and all that stuff going on. But uh, sometimes it'd be really, really good too. So. I'm hoping for the really good part today. We're gonna throw these baits and uh, the goal is to catch a bass on every single one. We'll see how the what the day brings us, but if not, I don't know. The goal is to catch a bass on every single one. We'll see what happens. So, got everything all, all set up. I'll explain the rigs uh, as we go through the day, catching fish on them. And uh, yeah, well, let's just go see what we can get done here. lure knocked out not a giant that's probably why they didn't want that top water but they wanted that swim jig though a Guggen swim jig <laughs> wow what a little tubby huh <laughs> what a short little fat fish <laughs> wow that's funny yeah, let's let him do. Nobody. Well, got the jig knocked out. So, move on to the next one. I think now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go after the crank. Now this is that Team Art crankbait. See how this baby works. Cast pretty good. I mean, I like the feel of it. it feels like a square bill. And we got a fish. go well, first cast with it too it also helps that I didn't find a school of fish so that does help oh stop buddy stop 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 okay gotcha these little guys scare me do not want a hook in the hand not again not again although I'm sure it will happen again at some point I'm not looking to do it anytime soon I mean we are not catching giants by any means <laughs> but it's a school of them and we knocked out another bait here well I say school I just I, I'm marking a bunch of fish on there I don't know what size they are so this is uh, I'm throwing this over top of submerged weed cover. It's like a deeper weed edge, but I'm throwing it over top and pulling it off into the deep end. And uh, yeah, he didn't actually hammer this thing. He hit it, but not 
like with an authority he uh he just kind of he was just on that's it <laughs> but first impressions of this bait uh it works good i mean i i don't see anything wrong with it you know i, I love the action love the feel and um uh, for the fall good color cool got another bait knocked out let's um let's go finesse let's uh let's, let's get that craw down there next and see what that craw can do okay well let's get this guy out here <laughs> And I'll show you guys here. So I've got that yum Ned Craw on a 16th ounce Ned Head. That's it. That's all I got it wrong. So we'll see if they want this guy. We got the Stickies uh, 3 uh EWG hook on here, and we got that uh, that flat sided shad from uh, Net Baits. So we're gonna give this a shot here. I'm, gonna, I'm going weightless, and uh, see what we can get here. We did on a spinning rod, nice and light. They'll do a slow sink, so we'll see. Uh, we'll just see what happens. into the giants like i said in the last game but hey we knocked two of those baits out of the box he actually came back and hit it a couple times i was just too slow on the on the hook set well all right man this i wasn't sure i was it's kind of windy i was thinking about switching up the rigs like not really switching it up completely but I was thinking about just putting a weight on the front of it. It probably would have been a little bit better for me. Oh, jeez, careful. It would have been a little bit easier to fish if I had a, uh, had like a little 3 16 ounce or even an 8 ounce weight on the front, on the nose here. But, uh, hey, we got it to work. Caught a fish on it. Now let's move on to the next one. Next one is going to be that, uh, well... What do we have left? We got the top water and we've got the young Ned Craw. So I'll work on these next and uh, see what we can get. All right, well. Ooh, I think I tighten that up a little bit. There we go. I don't know how that loosened up so bad. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well. Marking them some bait fish out there, so we're going to cast over to them. 
Yeah, let's just slowly reel. See if we can get another bass here. What I'm doing is I found two big drain pipes that go underneath the water under the surface here. And the bait fish are they're holding to them, holding to these drain pipes. And there's weeds around it too. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just fishing it in around it. I'm not 100% seeing the fish, but um, I know that I, I can see that they're around in the area. So that's what I'm fishing. It's kind of fishing the area. Um, I fished it before here and did pretty good. That was a while ago. So things can change even through the day. So we'll keep milling around here and see if we can get another bite. saw that on the live scope brushed off in the weeds to get it okay Got another bait knocked out <laughs> no like I said before sometimes with smaller baits you can get smaller fish but you know sometimes you'll you, you, you don't in our case it was a small fish he's got a little bit of tattoo with scarring right here looks like some more scarring this one probably was a little bit younger almost got eaten but yeah we really got it right in there that was the uh young ned I had to i was swimming it slowly and um, yeah, he brushed out from the weed, weed edge and crushed it. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Now, all we have left are two top waters. The Guggen revolver. Let's we'll throw around here for a little bit and see. And then we have that one from Freedom Tackle. Uh, not sure how it's going to work here, but so far they haven't been really wanting that uh, top water bite. But uh, we'll keep trying a bunch of different areas see if we can't find a couple of fish that do. Right. I think I'm going to mix it up a little bit here first. I'm going to take the revolver off. I'm going to put this uh, the Freedom Tackle Mischief Minnow on just to see if I can get any different results. I mean, look at that thing. That's kind of you can slow reel it too. It has a nice little clacking sound. Hmm. Kind of like that. This bait does not walk though, I'll tell you that. better off doing a slow reel yeah this bait looks like a, a fleeing bait fish that's what it looks like a, a couple of fleeing bait fish oh. <laughs> broke off here's the beauty of this <laughs> Uh, this is about my bad. I should have retied. Tell you what, I'm gonna make this easy on myself. I'm gonna grab it with the net. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. This one's on me. I should have retied. Scoop it up. Hey, you got it. 
Oh, let's spot lock for now. All right. Let's see our catch here, huh? <laughs> well, note to selves. Here's a tip. Make sure you retie. So that was, it's not that I caught a ton of fish on it. I mean, I, I did catch some fish on that knot, but that was an old knot. So it's always good to retie. All right, so part of my problem was that knot. The other part was that I was throwing um, too light of line. I threw, uh, so I had mono to braid at a mono or braid to mono leader because mono floats but since braid floats too i'm just gonna throw it on braid uh, i've caught a lot of fish up just on braid so they're not focused on the line on top of the water they're mostly focused on the bait so it, braid's not gonna matter plus it floats easier to cast all sorts of goodness going on now i forgot about my bird's nest <laughs> Yeah, whoops. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Shall we do this, try this again? Let's see how messed up the bait is. Not messed up bad. All right. There we go. Now, let's try this again without and already birds nested. Real. Much better. <laughs> in this area, there's a lot of bait fish in this area, so mostly, I, they're mostly bluegill. So I'm trying to create a, an erratic action above the bluegill, trying to get these fish to rise up. I am just curious. I'm gonna drop down. Oh, oops. I'm gonna drop down a jig. I am really curious about down here. Because I know I'm seeing big bigger fish. the jig nice and slow now I know this isn't part of the bait but that's a beautiful fish right there uh, I was gonna say I know it's not part of the bait but I kept seeing bigger marks down there all I got left is top water I really wanted to make sure that I am around them there we go we are around them he's looking at you Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful fish here. Been a while since we used the bubble. Let's see what it weighs. I don't know, it's probably only maybe, it kind of feels like a three pounder. Maybe three and a half. We'll see here. On the scale. Um, it's uh, clear. Clear. Come on now. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's a three and a half pounder. Gorgeous fish. Obviously not on the on the anything from the box, but uh, still nice. Yeah, let's take another look at this beautiful fish. Put her back. All right. Well, that was fun, but it wasn't part of the slam, so it doesn't count towards anything. That just shows me, though, that we're going to have a hard time catching them if that's what they want, is the jig. Uh, it's not impossible. It's doable. It's going to be a little bit more tough. It's going to be just a little tougher than expected. That's okay. I feel like there's eight, there are some bass around here in each lake that will bite a top water almost all the time. So we'll keep after it complete the slam. Got one. <laughs> oh, get in here before we lose you. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, uh, cool. got my line all messed up around them too. Let's see here. Got him. Got him. Here we go. He had hooks in the bottom of his mouth and top of his mouth. So, and he's hooked good too. Look at that. Yeah, it's hard to see the sun, but there we go. Yeah, he's hooked real good. Awesome. That completes this bait. Just went up to a windy point. Woo -hoo -hoo. Almost. I mean, we're not fishing. We're not catching giants today on some of these baits. It's still a lot of fun to catch them on the baits out of the box. Definitely. Okay, let's get him back. The only thing I see with this bait, you can see, I don't know if you can see this very well. I got mad line twist. Probably one of the part of the reasons why I broke my my light mono earlier. And so this bait. You know, I, I just put a snap on here. You can tie it on directly. But what I would do, kind of what I did with my uh, uh, scrounger jigs, is just tie on a 50-pound uh, swivel. Put a 50-pound uh, barrel swivel on your snap here, and then just tie it onto your line. And that'll take care of some of the some of the line twist. Probably maybe not all of it, but it'll help. Cool. Well, let's get the revolver on. And uh, now we're just looking for one more bite to seal the deal here. And uh, complete the slam. species too. Oh my goodness. Feels so good to have this fish. It's been a long time. Oh gosh. You know what that does for us? It's our slam. 
double check I'm pretty sure it does finally got one on the revolver it's just it's just not the right time of year for this in the lake too they're just not in the mood we finally got it we completed it all right guys well that's gonna do it we completed the slam uh, technically I did already complete completed earlier because of uh, if I counted that pike in the beginning of the day but I kind of want to catch all on bass catch catch them catch bass with all of them so instead of pike try sorry I'm trying to shield you guys from the wind it is uh, yet another windy day but anyways we got uh, got the slime completed uh, had a lot of fun a couple of baits we got uh, bites on a lot quicker than I thought we were going to uh, I knew I was going to struggle with the top water just because the, I don't know I, I don't have a lot of luck with uh, with those kinds of top water baits uh, this time of the year sometimes they can be really good it all just depends on the lake too uh, this lake that I'm on it's not the greatest for those so but we did it we got it anyways and a lot of fun I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, I mean I, I'm just I'm just I'm just glad to be able to get out on the water again after being without a boat for over two weeks and uh, not being able to get out because of being too busy I'm just I just feel so grateful right now so um, you guys thanks again for sticking along sticking around for this one and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next video